No man ever succeeded in life without partnering with his spirit. This is a secret that every wealthy person on earth know about. No man ever succeeded in the journey of life without being in partnership with spirit. Either God is that spirit that is partnering with that individual or Satan is the one. The Bible said in the book of Genesis chapter 39, the Lord was with Joseph and the Lord made everything Joseph laid hand upon to prosper. God set up different laws so that he can be able to partner with us. God set up those platforms, those laws, do and don'ts in the Bible so that in obeying them, in keeping those laws, God can partner with us the way he partnered with Joseph and he will make everything we lay hand upon to prosper. There is this dialogue that is going on in the kingdom of God these days, whether to pay tight or to not pay tight. And sometimes people say it is the Old Testament laws. Some people say that it is the laws of Moses, that we are no longer under the law, we are under the grace. This tight thing is still, I'm not settled in my mind about it because whichever way we look at it, it's still an Old Testament phenomenon that we are insisting on practicing and asking people that when you receive your salary of a thousand cities bring 100 cities to the church by force why are we insisting on something that's really an old testament practice i, I think that there is a misunderstanding here and uh, i need to bring some clarity to this old testament is the hebrew scriptures mm -hmm. you know and basically is the law of moses you know or what you call the mosaic covenant now the issue of titan here was before the law but because in the time of moses it was a dispensation of the law they admitted tithes into the law they allow tithe to operate the origin of tithe is what the origin of tithe was with abraham it came from abraham when abraham tithed and give ten of all to melchizedek did melchizedek demand it he didn't demand it Abraham, how did Abraham come to the... By revelation, he paid tithe, he gave tenth of all because the number ten is the number of wholeness. It's the mm -hmm. number of wholeness. One thing, nothing, and lacking nothing. Mm -hmm. So when you bring the ten percent, seven is the number of an end of a cycle. Eight is the number of new beginning. Nine is the number of birthing. Ten is the number of wholeness lacking nothing wanting nothing so when you bring your tithes to god it sanctifies the 90 and that's why it has to come first and like i said before if you tithe after you spend or use the money and after that you tithe it's not tight what did who was melchizedek then why why did was he a priest he was a type he was a high priest he was a, he's a type of jesus he's somebody who didn't have a beginning and didn't have an end so it's believed by bible scholars that that was jesus and and abraham tied to jesus okay so it's, it's old testament yes but why are we doing it it's not old testament again like mm -hmm. i said it was adopted okay in the law mm -hmm. in the mosaic covenant now for instance take laying off of hands laying of hands by the pastor yeah yeah praise and worship praise and worship yeah child dedication yes uh, uh, things like uh, offerings mm -hmm. yeah? all these things were under what you call the new old testament and in this new dispensation of the new testament we practice circumcision of the flesh yes which we was do. before the law yeah we do that it began with abraham Mm -hmm. And even Moses, when he ignored it, God sought to kill him. Mm -hmm. The Bible said he went to talk to God, and God said, I will make Aaron your mouthpiece, so you go meet Aaron. Before you meet him, I'll talk to him to confirm what I've told you. On his way to go and meet Aaron, his brother, the Bible said the Lord sought to kill Moses. And it was the wife who, being a daughter of a priest, understanding ordinances and covenants, said, No, my husband may be in violation of the covenant and the ordinances of God. So immediately she took a sharp stone and she circumcised the son and the Bible said they left and the Lord left Moses. So this was something that was a practice before the law that was adopted during the law. And so you see circumcision was before the law and 
people still do circumcision mm -hmm. after the law and we accept praise and worship we accept giving laying off of hands healing all these things that were practiced what we call old testament doing that dispensation is still practiced today and nobody has problem with offerings or with giving or with praise with worship things like fasting and prayer they were all practiced on under what you call the law the mosaic covenant in those dispensations and we do the same today we fast today we we pray today nobody complains about it why is it that the tithe alone is an issue and it's an issue because it is the tithe alone that gives god authorization to rebuild the devourer offerings and giving doesn't give god authorization to rebuild the devourer so the devourer reacts when it comes to the tithe because god said if you bring your tithe i the lord he said prove me that is the only time in the bible god says you can prove me put me to a test i will rebuild the devourer for your sake i will open the windows of heaven and he didn't say the, the doors of heaven or the gates of he said windows when you stand at the window you see far than when you stand at the door because windows here stands for inside it gives you advanced knowledge revelation you see beyond where you are and god said i will give you advanced knowledge if you're a tighter and i will also rebuke the devourer so one of the reasons why the tithe is a, a, an issue is two things because one satan knows that a tighter gives god authorization to rebuke him that is one two the falling nature of man is rebellion the sin of this world is rebellion against god right from the garden of eden that man has always wanted to be independent of god do his own thing be a law to himself not be subject to the laws of god or to god's authority when it comes to tithe it's very specific it's not what you want to give it's not what you will or what you wish you are specific commander it's a command the reason why the tithe is a serious issue because it is the only thing that when we do for failing our covenant responsibility is our covenant responsibility to God and God said if you be a tighter I the law will rebuke the devourer that is the only time God promised to rebuke the devourer if we will tight so you think that is a, is a demonic narrative oh yeah 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 that yeah, has absolutely. been built against the tight absolutely absolutely because of what it does if you're a tighter mm. and in the New Testament Matthew 23 23 Jesus did not condemn Titan he said you tight on everything it is great but you have forgotten the weightier matters of the law, which is faith, judgment, and mercy. Being merciful. You are ignoring judgment. You are not doing it in faith. And the Bible says anything that is done without faith is sin. Anything you done without faith is sin. And without faith is impossible to please God. Now take for instance, under the Mosaic Covenant, they practice judgment, mercy, and faith the new testament dispensation we practice faith we practice mercy we practice judgment why is it not an issue why is faith not an issue why is mercy not an issue why is judgment not an issue why is tight the only thing that everybody is talking about and fighting about the church doesn't receive only tight only we receive different kinds of offerings uh, uh seed faith we receive um first fruit. we receive different people make vows and things and some pledges. even give pledges. more than the 10 percent mm. and all that is not an issue but the tithe is a serious issue why because it is the only thing that gives god authorization to rebuild the devour people that are telling you now not to pay your tithe to god they are also sacrificing to the spirit that is behind their world. They are doing some sacrifices. They are doing sacrifice in one way or the other. But they will not tell you about the sacrifice they are engaging on. They not tell you how they are sacrificing maybe human being, maybe goat, maybe making one of their children imbecile, maybe sleeping with pregnant women, maybe sleeping with virgins. Some people are sleeping with married women. Some people are sleeping with their fellow man in the name of performing ritual. That is sacrifice because that was the law that they received from the altar, from the spirit behind their world, behind their sources. So they must keep on maintaining these laws.
So only in the kingdom of God, you see many children of God that are serving God, but they never know the word of God. They never know all that the Lord demanded from them. They never know their left and their right. They allow all these arguments. They allow all these arguments to, to take over their life. Don't accept any argument that any man will bring on your way concerning paying tight or not paying tight. Anybody that don't want to pay tight, good for him. But anyone that wants to pay tight, good for that individual. 